Hello and welcome and good morning, good evening, good night. Uh, we have a nice great day with workouts again. Uh, and today we're going to do handstand. We're going to practice on our handstand being inverted. Um, for you that have problems being on a handstand, no problem. We're going to look at what you're going to be able to do today too. And uh, we're going to start with a small uh, warm up for our shoulders. So I want you to start with 20 shoulder rotations, backwards, forwards, and then we're gonna go a bit into different extensions. So you're gonna pull your arms forward, rotate them out, contract back in, do that 10 times, and then you go out to, to the sides, one palm up, one down, and we're gonna reach out as far as we can, and we're gonna turn our head as we go like that, and see a bit how you feel like in your shoulders. You can check your, your shoulder mobility a bit for today by putting your back flat to the wall. Uh, you don't want to have any space behind yourself here. And then you're gonna go up with your hands straight overhead. See if you can maintain that back flat and reach the, the wall here. And you can spend you know, a couple of minutes just to try to reach out and push your arms against the wall. <sighs> Breathe here and try to challenge that position a bit actively. If, you, if you're stiff, this is a great one. Just spend a couple of minutes just pushing as far as you can. Rest for one second and push and rest. And you do that a couple of times. Um, then we're going to go into the first part today, which is a, a practicing a handstand, a freestanding handstand. And what we want to achieve is as much control as possible. This is also going to uh, be necessary to have good shoulder mobility. Uh, but just uh, let's have a look at what you can do uh, to start with if you can't do a handstand today. So what you're going to do is the following. You're going to grab a chair or a box and you're going to put your feet on top of the box or the chair and you're going to do a maximum hold like that. And uh, you're going to hold as long as you can, five rounds. If it feels easy to do like that, you're going to try to walk closer to the box and take one foot off and it will look something like this. So you get closer and then you lift one leg up. And you can change legs too. And challenge yourself. Uh, it can be scary to be upside down, inverted. So uh, have a check. Uh, how you want to do those. So let's look, have a look at the handstand per se. Maybe you can do a handstand against the wall. And uh, so you're gonna kick up against the wall to start with. Like that, and you're gonna hold as long as you can. And if you still feel secure, you bring one foot forward. And if that feels good, Try to bring the other one after. And yeah, challenge yourself a bit. Go for as long holds as you can. And yeah, if you have a clock, maybe you can uh, keep a clock just in front of your face and uh, see how it goes. Good. Then into today's workout of the day, we're doing a classical CrossFit uh, workout called 2159 uh, rep scheme. And we're gonna do two movements. We're gonna do, do, do a burpee tuck jump and push-ups. A lot of shoulders today, so see how it goes. The burpee tuck jump is a burpee. Up and jump, smash, 
knees against your hands. 21 of those into 21 push-ups. So in the push-up, we want to keep a body straight, chest to the ground, and come up. Uh, if that's too hard, try to go straight down and roll yourself up. And if that's too hard, then try to roll yourself down and keep as strict as possible. Very important, you keep your, your butt tight and your core tight when you do those. I would mitigate to do push-ups on my knees for a workout like this. And I, I usually mitigate to do a push-up on my knees anyways. And we can go through that too. Why, why don't we want to do push-ups on our knees? So I want you to go into a push-up position and I want you to, to stand here and I want you to squeeze your butt as hard as you can on your knees. And then you're gonna go up on your toes, squeeze your butt, and now on your knees, squeeze your butt, and try that a couple of times. And I want you to ask yourself, in which position can you squeeze your butt the most? The obvious answer is when, you're, when your legs are extended. And why is it important for us to squeeze our butt? It is to pr protect this one, the, the lower back. So for many of you out there that have back problems and so on, you need to get your butt really strong. The push-up is not only about the shoulders, it is about your butt getting stronger too, your core getting stronger too. So don't miss out on that important part where you actually get a really strong butt good looking, you can become a model and everything, you know, that comes with it. No, but we just want to get rid of the back pain, whatever it is, and obviously it's gonna transfer into other movements too. So, good luck with the workout. I think it's a short one, um, maybe under five minutes. Yeah, hopefully. Okay, good luck, see you next time, bye.